Welcome back, 615. Part of our Rebound KC commitment here at 41 Action News focuses on holding government leaders accountable. This morning, we're taking a closer look at what Kansas and Missouri are doing with money from the federal government to support child care. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan brings us this story. You see the magic of what goes on in classrooms every day. The doors to that magic at United Inner City Services child care facilities were closed for about two months when the COVID-19 pandemic first hit. As kids step back into the spotlight, they're noticing changes. Teachers and masks, a new outdoor classroom, and fewer classmates. While there may be fewer children in the classroom every day, we need just as many staff every day to, to best support them with the what we call big feelings that they show up with. CEO DJ Anderson tells me her programs have about 30% fewer students, but similar, if not more, costs, throwing her budget upside down. We knew that the child care system was very fragile, and this is really kind of set it over the tipping point. Paula Neth is president and CEO of the Family Conservancy based in KCK. It normally helps child care centers provide quality education, but this past year has focused simply on helping centers stay open. The agency estimates COVID forced 100 150 centers to close permanently across the metro, meaning there are 1,600 fewer spots for children. A lot of parents need child care to get to work, just like they need bridges and roads to get to work. And just like the federal government helps pay for roads, it has set aside money for child care in three big chunks over the past year. Missouri received $975 million total. Kansas, about half that. Some of the money went to centers last year. 41 Action News obtained plans each state submitted to the federal government on and how it'll spend significant portions of that remaining money. Kansas hopes to get the money to child care centers by May. It's June in Missouri. Both will help centers buy PPE and disinfectant supplies, plus offer a variety of grants. Kansas wants to cover fees for new centers to open in child care deserts. Missouri wants to make it easier for schools to expand into toddler and infant child care. Now we need to figure out how are we going to rebuild our capacity. Neth's group created a task force in the metro and is at the table speaking with states about how to get money where it's needed. Anderson says money for overhead is a good starting point. But in full transparency, we need some additional monies to come directly into programs like this so we can ensure five years from now, 10 years from now, we're viable, thriving businesses, not just hanging on by a thread. Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today. Charlie asked the people in his story to put together a list of things for you to consider when shopping for child care. So first, begin looking early. Ask about cleaning and sanitation processes and find out what the center does if someone tests positive for COVID. Ask what curriculum the center uses. Quality education is critical for young brains. A low staff to student ratio usually means your child gets plenty of attention.